All right. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Power Hour. All right. So first of all, just uh, now if you've taken our courses at iwmentor.com, we have that whole one called Site Design and Web Parts and you, you learn how to create pages and how to design them. But let's go ahead and level set and just make sure we all kind of know what a page and news is. So when I go just to my home page of my SharePoint site, I can click the new button here and a page and a news post are two things that I can choose from. And these are both really pages. And so each one that you create is going to go into your pages library. And they're both going to be just like these ASPX files. They're both going to be files in, in that library. So I'll go ahead and create a new page. Now we haven't created any templates in, uh, in this tenant, in, in this site. So we have just these built in templates that it gives me to pick from. So what I'm doing is I'll just go ahead and create one that's got some basic text just so it has some information on it. And then this is the new setting. This is a new setting called create as a private draft. So this, this is really helpful because in the past, when you created a page, even before you published it, other people who are also like have that edit capability on the site, which by default is all members, would still be able to see the draft that wasn't published. So now you have the ability to create a private draft, which means this is just for you um, to be able to see as a draft before you publish it. Have you ever seen, Joelle, any sort of issues that come up with people working on drafts and other people seeing them or the wrong people seeing them? Has that ever been something that like I wonder what prompted them to do this yeah I mean I would say in big organizations there might be concerned when there's a lot of communication like there's a lot of news articles and they might be like working on like a CEO announcement or something and they don't want anybody to see it by accident yet <laughs> uh, you know things like that I think um, tend to be might be a reason why they created this oh, okay yeah so I put a link in the resources for this power hour when you go to the post tab I put some resources there. So I put, this is one of the links that I put in there about creating a private SharePoint page or new or new or news post again, cause they're both pages. So it's, it's only visible to you and the people you share it with as well as the owner of the site. So it's not completely private. So if you are a member of the site and you're not an owner and you think, don't assume that, you're the only one that can see it. So anyone that is an owner can see it as well. Now, also, now I kind of ran it about this in another power hour is that you don't need to have a ton of owners on your site, just two, one or two, really two to have a backup. But if you have 15 owners, if somebody's added, just all owners kept adding other owners, then that kind of negates the whole concept of having only a few people be able to see your page. So it's another thing to kind of think about and pay attention to. So again, you can create it as a private draft. I'll go ahead and create this page. And again, this is not the point of this is not going to be, we're not going to talk about what's on the page and designing the page in this episode. We're just going to talk about the concept of pages and what we're doing with them. So it's letting me know that I'm editing a private draft. It says that it's only visible to me, the page author and other collaborators invited by the author. So that means I would have to share. See, it says share draft up here at the top. So that that's where I specifically make a point to invite other people who I want to see the draft. So before I do that, it's just me and the owners of the site that can see it. So um, when the draft's published, then everyone in the organization has access to that site. You can see all the other pages on the site, like the home page, then they would be able to see it. Um, just keep in mind, some web parts may not be visible to people whose permissions are different than those of the page author. So now this little statement is really completely unrelated to this concept of a draft page, but it's important to remember. So um, last in the last episode, we had the whole episode was about SharePoint permissions. And I talked about the concept of being able to give different people, different groups of people permissions to different libraries and different lists in your site. So
So if you are designing a page and you put a web part of a certain document library on the page, well, what if that web, what if that document library um, only managers have access to it? So you put it on the page, just assuming everybody can see everything on the page, not even necessarily realizing that you can only see that library because you're, you're a manager. So it's another thing to think about. And if you really want to kind of um, make sure and double check that, you know, the people who can see things that are that you expect that can see them, then you would test it out. So you could test this by having, you know, asking someone who is a, a different sort of a different level or different user than you to go look at the page and be able to see kind of what they can see. There isn't, I don't think, Joel, that they've created any kind of concept of being able to view the page as someone else. Um, yeah, I know other software products will let you kind of test things by being able to say, well, let me see what it looks like as this other person. But um, pages don't have that. So you would have to just have like a test user or something to do that. So, all right. So I say, got it. So here is my page, um, test private page. And um, you can decide whether or not to put your name there, or if you want to put like the name of a group, like if you have HR or something like that, you could put a group there as the owner, as to be displayed at the top of the page, you could put somebody else's name. I usually just take my name off of it and leave it alone. And then here's where I'll go ahead and save my draft. And it's reminding me that it's a private draft and then I can share it with others in order to collaborate. So, um, and you all can go to this page. Um, I put a link to it, I'll put a link to it in the chat again. So I've got my little test private page and then it's reminding me that it's a private draft and it's when I click that it's just got private draft sharing so it's got power hour owners so everybody else that's um watching you all probably can't see this test private page Joelle can you see it I wonder if Joelle if you're I think you might be an owner on here so you would be able to see it if I did so and then people would then this is where I could put the name of somebody that I want to share that private draft with and or just copy and then send them a link maybe in chat or something like that to be able to get to it yeah i can see it <laughs> okay yeah so joelle's an owner so she can see it but it's, see it's got a whole section here for private draft sharing and that's where you can and hopefully it makes it very obvious that it's a private draft and then i'll go ahead and edit it change it to public now <laughs> and go ahead and it's not it's not going to be a private draft anymore okay it's letting me know it's giving me this big warning now this page will be published to the power hour site it'll be visible to everyone who can access your site if you shared this draft with collaborators who don't have access to your site you will need to grant them access to view the published page oh that makes it nice and confusing so it gives you the ability to share it with someone, share the draft with someone, and that person may not even have access to the site at all. Because, I mean, that's possible. Um, if they're not on that team, they're not in that group of people, they don't have access to the site, and you share it with them, and they're working, looking at the draft with you and working on it. And then once you click publish, that's like basically taking away the unique permissions of that page and having it inherit permissions again and we talked about permission inheritance again in that latest episode all right and then i get the usual help others find your page i can always find all my pages here in site contents when i go to site pages and that's where all these files exist so here's the test private page that i created so now i'll go ahead and create a new now, if you have a news web part on your page, you can create a news, new news post from here. Um, but also just on your home page, you can click to create a new news post that way. And again, you also have templates for those. I'll just do a visual one. And also I have the private draft here as well. Same concept. 
So because again, news is news is a page. And so everything that I just described about the private draft for the page applies to this news page as well. And um, you'll be able to do all those same things with it. It just looks different. And it's going to be showing in the list of news. So I'll say November news. And blah, 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 blah. And then again, it's a private draft, but I'll go ahead and post it. And it's just letting me know that everyone will be able to see it. Everyone who has access to the site will be able to see it once I do that. So if you are going to just create a page and immediately type some things on it and click publish, you don't really need to create it as a private draft. Um, but yeah, so, but that's your option. Um, I'm glad you all like it. So that is that concept of um, creating private draft pages and news posts. And again, you'll be able to see all of them go down to site pages in here. And Joel, wasn't there a column that you could add that, where you could tell by looking here if things are pages, are news posts? Yeah, um, it's promoted state. Promoted state. Okay. So let's wonder if it will show here. Oh, it yeah. Should. There it is. Promoted state. Okay. So this one I created called November News. That one is the only actual news post. And all the rest of them are pages. So um, that just about wraps it up. Um, let's see, let's let me share my screen one more time and I'll go to our schedule page. So here, so today, obviously we had power hour. We have office hours tomorrow for our ultimate members. That's our private meeting where we have a Q and A in teams. November 9th is the next power hour. And then the week after that, we're holding our interactive advanced class. And so we won't have a power hour that week, but you can always go to iwmentor.com and check out the schedule to be able to see what's coming up. And also again, um, a lot of these concepts um, are really ex excerpt from our site designs and site design and web parts course that's part of the ultimate plan and um, it teaches you about all about pages and news and scheduling and web parts and um, way more details than we covered in this one hour. So thanks again, everybody, for coming. And we will see you next time. Over and out.